Hey everybody, I hope you're doing well. And so this is one of the projects I was really excited about doing in class, but we're going to be doing this online. So I'm going to try to give you this little tutorial to help you out as much as possible to go through and how to work some of this stuff out. So we're going to be using a program called Zapper. And you should be getting or have already gotten or will be getting it pretty shortly, an invite to join. If the invite doesn't work, what you can always do is just create a free trial for 30 days and that's fine too. The first thing you're going to need to do is download what's called Zapper Reader. Now, it took me the longest time because it's Z-A-P-P-A-R, not Zapper, P-E-R, but it's a Zap, Z Zap, Z-A-P, where you Zap an app, A-P-P, that's in augmented reality, which is A-R. So it's an app that you Zap in A-R. And that's kind of how they come up with the name. So once you get that, you're going to be able to see it. So you can do a Zapper Reader app, and you can either do it on a computer, or so you can go to get Zapper Augmented Reality, or you can go to your Google Store. So if you look on your phone, what you're going to see is it's going to look like the following right there. You've got that little red box with the black circle and the yellow lightning bolt. That is your Zapper Reader. So, so let's go back to Google, and we're going to get started. Uh, so I'm going to go to My Zapworks, and here's your website, My Period Zap Period Works. So I go to the login. Now this is where you know I'm already logged in. So if I let me just log out, and I go back out, so you can see this is what your login screen is going to look like. So I have my login information saved because I don't remember any of my passwords. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to new project. So in this particular situation, if you've already gone through mission two, or if you haven't, this will kind of help you out with it. What I'm going to do is we're not going to use studio, but I'm going to go to designer. Let me hit next up. Don't worry about branded or image lookup or anything like that. Cause you notice that's 20,000, 8,000. This one's free. If you can do $20,000 on this, we need to talk about other things. So I'm going to go to create project. And now I want to start editing with designer. So the first thing I need to do is I need to download my zap code to get started. So I can choose some of these different screens if I want to. Uh, you know what? I think I'm just going to stick with this one. So I'm going to download it as a PNG file. So I'm going to open it. And so here's my lovely zap code. So what I need to do is I'm going to, oh, no, I don't want to copy it. I want to save as. So I'm going to create a desktop folder here where it's called images. So this is going to be my, what I call tutorial image. Okay. So I have my copy saved. Now. I need to move this up just a little bit. You're going to see the button here that says continue. So I click continue. Now the next part is talking about where it says to upload a tracking image. Now this is where once I scan the image, it's going to stay within that spot. Okay. So in order to do that, the first thing I need to do is that Zapper code that I just put, I need to put it on another picture. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to that folder that I just had. So this was that images folder. Now I have a couple different ones. You know, I'm going to do something science-y. There's my tutorial image, but let me get a NASA image. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to images.google.com. And I just want a NASA.png. So I'm just going to take this one here and I'm going to go to save image as. So I'm going to download the image. I want to make sure it's in that same folder. So I'm going to go to desktop and I'm going to go to my images and I'm going to put down NASA tracking. Okay. So now. I save that image, but the trick is what I need to do is I need to put that little zap code, that little lightning bolt with all the stuff around it, onto that NASA image. You can do uh, Microsoft, you know, gallery. There's the paint 
program, probably one of the easiest ones to do is actually going to be Microsoft PowerPoint. Or you can do this, you know, in any PowerPoint file. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a picture. So I go back to desktop, I go to my images, and there's my NASA tracking. So I'm going to make that up the entire slide. So this is what will happen is when the zapper sees this image, and now I'm also going to insert another picture, which is my tracking image. And this is the tutorial one, I believe. I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger to make sure. Uh, tutorial image right here. So that's going to be a little bit too big. So I'm going to put that right here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this. I'm not going to save the PowerPoint presentation, but I'm going to save this as a PNG format right here. So I can go to, go to my images and I'm going to say tutorial tracker. So I'm going to hit save. Which slide do I want to export? Just this one. Okay, so I'm going to minimize that. So now when I go back to my Zapworks Designer, I'm going to upload my tracking image. And you notice there's my tutorial tracker. And so what it's doing is analyzing it to make sure everything looks good. Everything's working fine and we're good to go. Okay, I'm going to use this tracking image. So we're good to go. So now this you'll see is my background scene. So I can go here under scene properties and say this is going to be home. Okay. So now what I want to do is I want to add something to it. So I have a choice here for an image. So I want to add an image. Now these were all previous images that I've had from other projects, but I can go to upload image and what will happen is that brings you to, in this case, my images folder. And this, so it's gonna be easier for you to put all your images that you want into one particular spot. So I'm gonna put the shuttle in. So now what it does, it's zapifying it. It brings up the shuttle and so I can put this wherever I want to. So let's say I want the shuttle here. So now I'm going to preview it. So what's going to happen is I take my phone and I hit my zapper button. And you won't be able to see it all that well, but you can see on my phone, lo and behold, there is a little space shuttle and that's it. Now, if you try to do this on yours, this isn't going to work. You're going to see a lot more than the shuttle because what happens is one of the nice things about Zapper is any changes I make on the back end, it's going to reflect it for that exact code. So you're going to get the final product if you were to zap this on your own up to the screen. It'll work, but you can do that. So, all right, so I'm done. So that's good. Well, it's kind of boring just to have one particular image or something like that. I might want to do something with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another image. And I'm just going to, for safety, you know, for time-wise, I'm going to upload the moon here. Now, and I'm going to upload, let's just do one more image we're going to upload. And I'm going to upload this one. Okay. So now, if I were to scan it, I'll bring up these three images. But I can do this, I can do more with this. So I have this little plus button here, which that's now scene two. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on scene two. I'm going to make this the shuttle. So I go click on home here. So I go back to the shuttle. Now, if you notice, you have a series of action items here. So I can say, oh, action. On tap, I have the ability to enlarge it. I want to go to a scene. Enlarge means it's going to make it the entire scene. I can go to a particular scene. So that's what I wanted to do. I want it to go to a scene. And now I click on here, scene selected shuttle. And so what's going to happen here? Now when I go to the shuttle, now it's going to bring me here. Well, right now there's nothing there, so it's kind of boring. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload a video. 
or I'm going to upload my own video. You notice I have some recently viewed videos here, so I can upload a video from my images again. So this is one, for example, with is a just a video from Cape Canaveral. So once it actually goes through the images, and so this was one I previously used, so I could have it up in that bar would be a little bit faster next time. But it's uploading all the different images or uploading the video, so it takes a little bit of time. Once it's done, so you see here, now I get to play with certain aspects like, oh, I want it to be a little bit larger in the screen here. What I want it to do is the following. Um, so video, I want it to play on star. I'm going to pause other media. Do I want them to be able to control it? Yes or no. Do I want them to be able to save it to the device? So you have some freedom and flexibilities. So now when I go to preview it, so again, here's my screen, which before is still just a little shuttle up there. I have this little button right here, which allows me to re-zap it. So when I click the one, it kind of, to me, it looks like an eye with the lightning in the middle. So I scan it now. And what you'll see this time is now I have those three things up there. So I have the moon, I have an asteroid, and I have the shuttle. So when I click on the shuttle, you see the video pops up. And if you notice, I have the ability to tap on it. I can make it bigger. And I have the controls associated with it. And that's all basically from here. So I'm good here. I'm going to just pause that. So I close it out. Now you can also do other things. So let me go back to the home. I'm going to show you one more thing you can do. As a way I can make an assessment, I'm being like, okay, I'm going to make a asteroid scene. Okay. Now, for this asteroid scene, you know, I'm going to make the background a little bit different. Maybe I want, I'm going to upload an image. I'm going to have a star field. So instead of that background, I want to have stars coming up in the back. Okay, so I'm going to make this bigger because I like it bigger. And so now I have the stars here. And I can include, let's put that image of the asteroid back in the center. So I can put it there. And I can also now embed text. I can include sounds. I can say, insert my text here, and I can say, what is this? Now, I really can't see it all that well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this up here, and I'm going to change the color to be maybe something else. So I can say, what is this? And now you have a thing here called a button. So I can put a button in and I can say like, oh, well, this button is going to say a comment. And then I'm going to add another button, not a comment, but a comment. And then I'm going to have this one say an asteroid. So now I want them to be able to do something. So I add in another scene. And I'm going to include the ability to say right or wrong. So I have a correct. So I'm going to label this one as my correct. And I'm going to make it nice and big. And I'm going to add this one. And I'm going to have this one marked as incorrect. And I'm going to add an image. And there's one up here that's like a big X. And again, these are not going to pop up on yours. These are only going to pop up on mine because I've used them before. So now I got to go back to the asteroid. I got to go to comment and I got to go to actions. On tap, I'm going to go to what scene? Well, it's not a comment, so that's going to be incorrect. And the asteroid, when I go to actions and I go click and I go on tap, I'm going to go to scene correct. So again, I like to preview it. I need to exit out of here. 
out of that previous app because it's still playing that video.